Now we're going to simplify fractions and what we do here is we divide the top and the bottom by the same number. So if we look at a rectangle and we cut it in half, that gives us the fraction one half. And then if we cut one half in half, that will give us, as you can see, two quarters. Two quarters are shaded in yellow. Now, if we cut them down further, we would give us four eighths. So this means that four eighths could be simplified to one half. So let's have a look at an example. If we looked at six twelfths, what we need to do is divide the top and the bottom by two. So six divided by two gives us three and 12 divided by two is six. Now, if you look at this fraction and we divided it by three, it would take us down to one half because three goes into three once and into six twice. Now let's have a look if we divided six twelfths by six. This would give us a half straight away because six is the highest common factor. So let's do another fraction. If we had 10 twentieths, we know this can be divided by two, five or 10. If we divided it by two, that gives us five tenths. And then if we divided that again by five, fives into five go one, fives into 10 go two, giving us one half. But if we divided by 10 straight away, we'd have got straight to one half. So let's have a look at 12 24. Now lots go into this, two, three, four, six, and 12. So if we divided 12 by 12, gives us one, and 24 by 12 gives us two. So that takes us to one half because we used the highest common factor, which is 12. So let's have a look at this. Here we've got 56 64 Now hopefully you can start to see, you know by your times tables, what goes into these numbers. Obviously two, four and eight both divide into these, but eight is the highest common factor. So eight into 56, that goes seven. And then eight into 64, that goes eight, giving the answer seven eight. Now, if we had 63 81s, hopefully you can see that three goes into that and so does nine. So 63 divided by nine gives us seven and 81 divided by nine gives us nine with the answer of seven ninths and we can't get any smaller than that. 99 over 132. If we look, we can see it's divisible by three, 11 and if we look closely, 33. So when we use 33, we should be able to reduce it straight away if it's the highest common factor with one step. So 99 divided by 33 is three and 132 divided by 33 is four, taking us to three quarters and we can't simplify that anymore. Lovely. On to 15 eighteenths. So hopefully you can see that we can divide both numbers by three. 15 divided by three is five and 18 divided by three is six, giving us a total of five, six. And we can't get it any smaller than that.